teach you about gravity. Gravity is that force that pulls things down. Like if you try to, like, like I'm gonna hold this book and then I'm letting it go. So now I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna put this ball here. Why is it not staying up? That's because of gravity. Gravity, it doesn't matter how heavy you are or how light you are, gravity always pulls things down. Newton discovered gravity. So, so this is how the story goes. So he was sitting under an apple tree, looking at the view, and then all of a sudden, an apple fell on him. So then he noticed that whatever is up does not go straight up. It goes straight down. It does. Now we're going to do an experiment. So we're going to drop this ball and the feather. Let's see which one is going to drop first. I think the ball is going to drop first. Let's see. In the count of three, I'm going to drop this. One, two, three. So you notice the, the ball hit the, the, the ground first, not the feather. That's because, does the ball have more gravity than the feather? Let's do one more experiment to find out. So um, now I have a paper, the same kinds of papers. I crushed one and I just left one. Which one do you think is going to fall first? Let's see. In the count of three, we're going to drop them. One. Two, three. The crushed paper hit the ground first. Not this kind of paper. So the ball fell because the ball was heavier than the feather. But why? But, but these both are the exactly same. In this case, these both are the exactly same papers. In this case, they should fall down at the same time because this one is plain and one is crushed. So it. So why didn't they fall at the same time? Does that mean that, that the two balls, the paper ball and this ball, is, has more gravity than the paper and the feather? Now we're going to talk about Galileo, friends. So Galileo says sometimes everything, so sometimes the paper or feather falls slow, but, but everything bigger or smaller or middle size has, has the same amount of gravity. But sometimes, because the paper and, and the paper and feather don't fall a bit slow because of, of the atmosphere. Atmosphere. Atmosphere is the air that we breathe. So, so this astronaut went to the moon. He, he, he dropped a feather and a hammer, and but and moon has a bit of gravity. But get, and guess what? He when he dropped them, they both fell at the exact same time. So Lilio was right. The bigger the planet is, the more gravity it has. See, but not just Earth has gravity; all the planets have gravity. But what's the problem? Is that that all the planets don't have enough? don't have the, enough um, air that we have. So the, Jupiter has more gravity than any planet. Sun, so, so, so Sun makes all the planets to rotate, rotate around it, but hit Sun's gravity. Earth makes all the planets move to rotate all, all around it with, with, with its gravity. Do you know something that goes um, against gravity? Rocket ship! Rocket ships break the strong energy of, of the gravity when they're, when they're going to go to the moon. And then rocket ships go to the moon with dividing 